Welcome to this video. Finally, I'm back with some more lessons on Micro 850 PLC. I know it's been a long time. I was doing so many projects you might see on my YouTube channel. So once again, welcome back to this course and we're going to make some new lessons on Micro 850 PLC, specifically on FPD function structure text. These are very important part of PLC programming lessons. So starting with function block diagram, why do we use that? Normally, this function block diagram way of programming is quite similar to letter logic. Most of the PLC application, you can directly convert the logic from FPD to letter or letter to FPD. They're very much similar. So it's your choice. If you want to use letter diagram, you can do that. If you want FPD, you can also do that. You can do basically everything in both these programming languages. ST is a bit different. This is for more mathematical calculation. It's much easier to do that there. We will see that. So let's see how we can use FPD in Micro 850. And this is my personal programming, uh, personal favorite programming language compared to letter logic. I like FPD more. The funny thing when I was in India, I was working on Delta PLC and I started with letter logic as well. And I don't know about FPD. So when I moved to Germany, everybody was using FPD here. And I realized it's, it's quite easy to understand the program when you write in FPD because you have blocks there. So it's easy to write comments and see where the signal is flowing. All right, so let's begin with our FPT. What we're going to do here, we're going to see how we can make uh, instruction blocks here. So we can see in this diagram, you have input variables, uh, Boolean 1 and 2, and OR block in between and output. So you can see that how information is flowing into the block and going outside. So let's take one example, very simple one. Uh, let's take an example to create an FPD for the following Boolean logic. So you have A dot B plus C. We're going to create that. So you know what to do. We have the software here ready to use. I have my micro H50 PLC connected via network. So you can see that it's on my ethernet network with an IP address 192.168.0.67. So this is already done. You have seen in my last videos. So I'm going to just create a program. In this case, I will go for not structure letter, but FPD. So once you do that, you have program here. You can double click and now you're inside the program. Our requirement was we have to make a dot B plus C. So three inputs are involved and one output X is involved. So let's come back. And the first thing is you can take variables. So you can just drag and drop, put the variable here. And now I'm going to use not ABC, but I'm going to use PLC inputs. So I'm going to use input variable zero. So here I have my DI00. Zero, zero. This is my first input. And I can copy paste that and take my second input and copy paste third input so the task was a dot b plus c so when you see a dot that means it's an and gate and plus is an or gate so a b should be andish together and these are boolean variable because we're going to create a boolean logic and c is or operation with the anded operation so in this case first we have to make and logic for these two what you can do, you can just drag instruction block here. And now you can see that here, you can type, you want AND. So you have a Boolean AND operation between two and more items. We need that, just double click. So now this block is your AND block, super easy. Just drag the inputs. Now you have an AND logic. And now the output of this AND and this should be OR. Okay, so in this case, we need another instruction block. And now here we're gonna type or and i will find logical look for logical boolean or of two or more items this is the one you need so just drag and drop the inputs so your logic is created the output should go to x so here i can take another variable this is my output variable and oh did i took instruction mark sorry <laughs> you have to take variable and here i can see my output variable I will take the output 2 because this is connected to my PLC. So basically my real PLC is on my table where I have connected a couple of inputs and uh, some indicator as an output. So that's our logic and it should be working. Let's give it a shot. I can maybe make it a little bit zoomer for you to see. Okay, now let's download that to our PLC. So my PLC is already connected. It should be downloaded in few seconds. 
So here we have something happening. And let's see, build is succeeded, no error. And here you go, some warning, download. Starting to download, it's projecting, yeah. So things are running smooth, no problem. So it's downloaded, now it's asking you to run the project. I would say yes, do that. So now the project is running and it's downloaded. And if you want, you can see your project live here. Here you go. Now you can see that this is false, this is false. My inputs are false, so output is false. All right, so let me check my inputs. I have on my table, this is one of my inputs. So I'm gonna turn on input zero, zero. So you can see that it's true waiting for the second input. Let me see if this one is my, okay, this is my second input and now you can see that my output is true and there is a red lamp on my table, which is true. So upper and gate trigger the output. So if I turn off one of the input, the output will be false. Now if I turn on input third, which is the C, this will also make it true because this is going as an OR operation. So if any of these input is true, output will be true. This is connected to just one input, so it's depending on one input, which is this one. And the upper part is depending on two inputs. So if both are on, then only auto will be on. So very simple Boolean logic, we just did that, okay? Okay, this was the first simple example. Now next example are to do NAND, NOR, and ZOR operations. So let's do that in the next video. See you. Thank you.